Hello everyone. This is one more episode of Fun with Integrals, and in this video, we are going to find, uh, we are going to discuss this integral, the square root of cotangent of x dx. Well, as such, this uh, integral may appear quite formidable, but in the backdrop of the two other integrals that we have discussed in earlier series of this, earlier videos of this series, for a description of which videos we are talking about, have a look at the description field just below this video. In there, what we did was we computed two integrals. Let me call them i1, which is equal to integral square root Okay, let me uh, put the braces. Integral square root cot x plus square root tan x dx. So that was one integral that we had computed. And and i2, which was equal to pretty much the same thing. but with a minus sign here. Fine. So given i1 and i2, and our integral, let's give, it, give that also a name. Our integral is i3, which is equal to integral square root cot x dx. So control C. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Let me try once more. Control C and Control V. Okay, that's not working for some reason. Integral square root cot x dx. This is the integral that we want. So if we stare, uh, stare at i1, i2, and i3, then it's pretty apparent that i3 is the arithmetic mean of i1 and i2. Basically, what happens is, if you add up i1 and i2, then the plus square root tan x and the minus square root tan x essentially cancel out. So therefore, it is, um, what is evident is, it is evident that i3 is equal to i1 plus i2 by 2. And we know what i1 and i2 are. We know, we know from the earlier results, the earlier two videos that we know that i1 is expressible in terms of si some sine inverse of something. i1, so let me write that down. i1 is equal to square root of 2 times sine inverse of sine x minus cos x. I'm leaving out the plus c for now because I'm going to add that back up when I compute i1 plus i2 by 2. Okay. So that is i1. And i2 was equal to square root 2. What was that? It had a log. Log of log of u plus square root of u squared minus 1 where u is equal to sin x plus cos x. And given these two, now I, uh, now I know what i3 is. So i3 is the sum, I am not going to write this out or maybe, well, I can. Let me just write that out anyway i3 is equal to, I'm going to take the square root 2 by this, this square root 2, that each of these i1 and i2 have a square root 2 term, divided by that 2 becomes a 1 by square root 2. So I'm going to straight away write that 1 by 
square root 2 times a bracket this term comes along this term comes along plus this other term comes along <clears throat> plus c where u is equal to sin x plus cos x. I could have written that here, but that would have made a huge mess, so I am writing it uh, um, uh, here. And that's the answer. i3 is equal to this. Let me color that. Let me color that in, say, red. And that's the outcome. So what happened here was, if somebody had given, uh, given the question that what is integral of cotangent of x dx, that would have been quite difficult. So what happened was somehow, I mean, imagine, imagine, so here we followed from video one to video two to video three, where in video one we solved for i1, then i2, and then i3 became trivial to solve. Imagine what would happen if i3 had been given first. One would have to then imagine that there exists i1 and i2 that one can compute, that one can actually go ahead and compute, and from there one would have to get i3. That's part of the beauty of mathematics. At times you are given something like i3 and you have to find the hidden things. The hidden steps are i1 and i2. Hope you enjoyed this video. Any comments? You can, you can put any comments in the, in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.